so the captain of the vessels must have been a Dwayne, as he did indeed have that being isness sense about him, that inimicable trait of all sincere and aware beings that can't be duplicated by sneaky controllers. Seems then that assuming the form of a robot demonstrated my switching a little to my personal self in light of the situation and oncoming wave. The robot bodies demonstrating rigidity of self-convinced created consciousness when peoples assume such body types in the lifetimes to come, it is a reflection of their rigid, unwavering personal selves as they become ever more constricted, self-absorbed and fossilised in their contentions of what they think life is. The body types they assume will mirror this, a consequence of the agreement to such restricting and limiting ideas, cause and effect having them experience these robot bodies in far more mechanised and restricted life circumstances. Everyone will have their personal created self, and it will be a bother and burden until we need the vehicles no longer when our process is complete. But until then, it will interject and intercede if we allow it, and it's apparent when it is. And when we are fully standing real and connected to our real selves, we simply be and see, and there is nothing added on top. Any fears, concerns, worries, considerations and questions indicate the presence of that pesky personal self. So the demonstration was along these lines. I had concerns about Captain Dwayne's decision to steer into the wave. For as my personal self came to bear, my recognition diminished, and I was viewing things through the literal filters of my personal self. I saw a wave. It was big. It was scary. Let's go this way instead, Captain. And the robot body demonstrated my slipping into my personal and more rigid self. But enough of my real self was there too. I stood real with Dwayne, and into the wave we went. Evidently, this was the new wave is, the is surging through creation and carrying with it the opportunity to supersede the simulator, Dwayne bringing forth this super knowledge for anyone who cares to pay attention. The new wave was in evidence then for all to see, but only for a small window, and this demonstrated here as we sailed toward it. At this point then, it's very conceivable the window was closing, mm. and people not paying attention would quite literally miss the boat. Time's up. Those having decided to be a part were fine and on board, and we sailed into the mighty new wave, which became a kind of golden gateway, as was my impression of it. We may have landed then in a higher position in creation, 
and the Golden Gate prior to that represented the chance for those with the recognition to jump right into the real universes of the ease. Those perhaps lacking the recognition at this moment missed the golden gate that could only be passed through with recognition, but nevertheless assumed a higher position in the creational life levels where they could proceed with their awareness process. And I was amongst those, having missed the gate of the ears, but was beyond the lower imploding life levels nonetheless, and demonstrated by my being still in my robot form, maybe tapline free, that allowed this, vo this voyage to this position, but maybe lacking the recognition to be with the is for now. And then another demonstration. Dwayne did engage with an individual on this life level. Maybe this individual was representing the oppositional force of the majority of humanity. A final ditch effort to get their attention, but they still weren't listening, still resisting Dwayne and what he was trying to bring through. So here, Dwayne engaged the unaware, but didn't battle or fight them, letting them decide whatever they wanted, but still presenting the ears. As I knew, Dwayne allowed this individual to best him. For if we fight with others and impose our will on them, this is an infringement on their free will, a control, and we are drawn into cause and effect, and we are no longer standing real with the ease. Everything in creation being ideas. We don't return fire or start creating ideas in response. We present, step around the ideas, stand real and supersede creation. And if others choose not to, in creation they remain. And here, Dwayne faded away from sight. He was off on his journey now, further into the ears. The one beside me stated how he could see Dwayne still, and so may have been a universal guide. From this position, even though higher in the creation, I could see Dwayne no more. He had completed his assignment, and his creational life level vehicles, including this one, were of no further use to him, and were no more. They faded away. He was off into the ears, and some new friends had gone straight into the real universes of the ears too. Others, like me, were here and could still continue with the process and join them later, but best not linger too long, as creation was imploding, and that would include all life levels. Bouncing about in my little robot vehicle still, I found a veil and peeked through and investigated this reset earth beyond. For yes, I had the impression this was representing the reset of the simulator, the epoch having gone through its final cause and effect decided upon demise, 
imploded, and here was the reconstituted simulator, a new golden age. If I had still been on that creational life level, high as it was, it was still a part of the simulator and would have been destroyed too, and I would be caught in the reset if I hadn't completed the process of awareness and recognition. So I was either in the real universes and taking a peek at the new reformatted simulator, or simply being afforded this final viewpoint at the end of this dream. I saw no peoples, just lush vegetation and animals. Individuals then, in stages of rudimentary body forms and vehicles, before free will kicks in, is utilised, and everything goes along, agreed to, cause and effect, roots of experience again, or maybe just a confirmation of how when individuals are reset in the golden age, so too is their created consciousness as their vehicles and life levels are gone with the previous imploded simulator, starting from point zero then, with no consciousness created as yet, ideas agreed to, emotional attachments, routines, habits or charged emotional ideas to draw from from the causal body demonstrated by the animals that I determined should act in this way or that, maybe aggressively, but that only had just a clean and pure inquisitiveness. Attitudes and ways of being you would expect from individuals with a consciousness still in its rudimentary stages of being created and put together. <laughs> That's the end of that one. <laughs> that is terrific, Mr. Kevin. Just, you are just terrific. Thank you so much. Yes, that is, uh, you're, uh, as you're explaining that, um, and how you re-went over it is very, very good. And actually, this is what is actually taking place. And yes, it is a recognition and very few will see it. And uh, uh, there's more to this. This is the surprise that's coming. Uh, but you're seeing it. You're being prepared. And uh, you'll be fine. Uh, it's just really cool. Please write that down. And uh, let's share that out there. Because, uh, yeah, it's a real preparation for what is coming, what is taking place from the real side and will become evident. And yes, people have to pay attention. We're trying to, uh, you know, let the world know the best we can, but huge resistance with the consciousness and people are so layered by so much uh, deformity and dis disinformation and plus uh, all the havoc that's going on with the fires and the chemtrails and just everything that's going on, they're just poisoning this planet as fast as they can. And so uh, those that step up and have the courage, okay, it, it, it's a big journey to get through the personal self, but uh, you're seeing it, young man. Let people know, your family, everybody, because it's coming. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, there's that scene in Terminator about the middle of the movie where the gal is at the chain link fence and she sees this lady with her child on a swing and trying to warn her but can't get to her and all of a sudden the atom bomb goes off and that's how fast it, it's uh it, it will happen and people will panic and so we have a wonderful surprise for people coming up that we've been working on the real side for a long time but you got to see it you got to want to see it again uh each person decides their life and this is an opportunity like never before because all those 
political, religious, spiritual past, scientific, or whatever that people have been through and have to deal with here. They have nothing to do with the whole of life, but it's all in cause and effect creation. And if you don't wake up more so than just this personal self, then you got to deal with it. That's how real it gets. Just like this world is totally poison, that's how real it gets. You can think in your mind, oh, no, it's not that. I'm still breathing. I'm still walking around for a few moments. That's all you got. You only got a few moments, and then it's going to come to that moment where you're not, and you're going to wonder where you're at. So, again, I suggest to pay attention. Wonderful, Kevin. Can we wrap that up? Because that's, uh, that's a whole lot for this one. And, yes, if you would, put that into words and share that. Uh, actually, uh, whatever, and I'm sure you're broadcasting this. Uh, it's just terrific. But it is a... Uh, it is in its own way, and it's really cool how uh, you experience this because it's coming, and it's uh, coming very fast. So everybody pay attention. Thank you, Kevin. Um, is there anything else you want to briefly say? Otherwise, we'll turn it over to Kelsey. Uh, no, um, I'll leave it there. Uh, thank you for that, Dwayne. And uh, I am in the process of writing my book at the moment, incorporating all my dreams. I'm about halfway through it. So with a bit of luck, I'll be popping that on uh, the Lulu site and the Amazon site as well in in uh, in the weeks to come. So, um, so yes, over to Kelsey with her announcements. Thank you, Kevin. And I want to let everybody know that next week on Saturday is with Charles and it's actually at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So just check on your calendar, your schedule, your clock off of 9 a.m. Pacific time for next Saturday. And just pay attention to this week and the radio shows that we have on Blog Talk Radio. I did do a couple new shows, um, video Zoom calls that are on my YouTube channel and Henry has been doing new Zoom calls and interviews as well that are on my channel. So be sure to check out this recording and share it around on Facebook or on other platforms. And this recording will be on Kevin Smith's YouTube channel. Thank you, kids. Until next time, thank you so much. Was there anything else, Kelsey, you wanted to share? Uh, yeah, on Saturdays, we do have a 6 p.m. call as well, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And on Fridays, there is a Australia New Zealand call, which everyone is welcome to. And it starts at 11 p.m. Pacific. Oh, well, now it's 10 p.m. since the time changed. It's 10 p.m. Pacific time. So just message me or Henry or Eric if you need to know any of the times. And they are on wonderfulworldwideeducators.com underneath the Become Involved tab. And I'll be updating it to change the times because we've had the daylight savings time for a couple of our shows thank you that's it okay then thank you everybody and from the uk crew we'll see you all next time